What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a Q&A. A highly requested Q&A that you guys have all been requesting. So, let's get to it. This is a fun one. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what would it be? By the way, I'm a huge fan. So, I think if I had to eat one meal for the rest of my life, mm, probably a egg, chicken, bacon, avocado burrito. So I'm pretty good right now. Um, what's your NFL team? Has to be the Rams. I was a Rams fan when I was this big. I was really little, and then they left Los Angeles, um, and then my dad became a Chargers fan, so he became a Chargers household. Then I got married, and Ben is a Seahawks fan, so our household became a Seahawks household. And now that the Rams are back, I've deserted both teams, and now I'm going back to the Rams. <laughs> How long have you and your boyfriend, husband, Ben Moreland, been together? You're really cute together. You guys look great. Thank you. Um, ben and I have been together for a decade. We've been together for 10 years and we've been married for five. Does Ben ever get jealous? Um, no. I, I don't give him a reason to get jealous. The internet is just a part of my job and I mean, he supports me in whatever I do. I mean, this is not really a question, but can you please do more YouTube videos of morning routines or vlogs? I think they mean vlogs, but um, yeah, I'll do your morning routine pretty soon. So we'll see. What is your biggest dream you haven't tried yet? Probably to be a mom. It's terrifying, but I think that's like one of my biggest dreams. <laughs> um, where do you get the motivation to just keep going? Honestly, my future children, my future family, like it's good to take things day by day, but you also have to look at where your life is going and try and plan for the future. I mean, no one can really plan for the future, but you can try and be as prepared as possible. And I know that today, every day when I wake up, I have to go to work, get on my grind and make sure that I'm building something bigger and that we're out there helping people and making differences. And I think that's a big part of what pushes me and just really being able to start something that's gonna set us up for the rest of our lives. And I get motivation from the comments that people leave. I get motivation from people who send me um, like their transformation DMs. Someone wants to say hi. And um, I think that I just really try to connect with people and that's, I'm. they say I'm their motivation, but they're also my motivation, you know? I. These people look up to me and I look up to them and I want to be a part of their journey and get your butt out of my face. I know that when they send me these DMs and messages and emails and comments that, you know, I've changed their life somehow or I've impacted their life or I've just been a little part of motivation for them and that's what motivates me. Next question. Oh, oh I lost my spot. Mm. Do you drink alcohol? Yes. I have white wine. Sometimes I really like white wine. Sometimes I have champagne. Um, it really depends on the occasion, but normally, no, I'm not like a it's five o'clock somewhere kind of person, so. It just doesn't really go with my lifestyle. If you could have any other job besides gym owner or professional model, what would it be? I think if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, I would probably be in more of a marketing, like magazine editor area like graphic design, maybe not graphic design because I'm terrible with computers, but something like that. Uh, I'm just curious on your perspective. If the world was run off one government system, what would that affect you? Nope, 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 not answering. No politics. Uh, what made you decide to open your own club? I think he means gym. Did y'all already have a good list of clients and friends? Well, Ben has been a personal trainer for the last 10 years and my background is in marketing and his is in business. So we just kind of combined and with the whole social media platform of fitness personality, it just kind of naturally came together. I also really liked what he was doing and saw the changes with his clients and how he was affecting people's lives and I was like, hey, I want to do that too. If you could be any animal, what animal would it be and why? Oh, probably. I mean, I am a crazy cat lady, so probably like, ooh, like, I don't know, some kind of big jungly cat. Do you think you'll ever break away from your modeling career? If so, what do you plan on doing after? Well, 
partly I want to be a mom. And then another part, I think that I would like to go into like social media consulting, um, helping businesses really get their social media on point. Um, what type of model do you consider yourself? Fitness model, but also catalog model, but also more of like a fitness personality. How long did it take for you to get the body you have right now? Also, are you proud of your body? So to get to where I was three months ago, um, it took two years of really, really hard work of bulking and then cutting and then I put on a lot of muscle and then I shred down and I put on a lot of muscle and then I shred down. So it was like a big continuous process. Um, I did hurt my back about three months ago. So I was kind of like had to shred, but like I lost a lot of muscle because I wasn't really lifting weights. Um, so my body right now, I am proud of it, but is that the question? Yeah. So I am proud of it, but I do want to be back to where I was three months ago, um, around the time I shot my calendar. So a lot less, um, cellulite. What advice on getting toned abs? Don't eat like shit. What happens when all the beauty is gone? Well, my friend, let me tell you. I'm educated, I'm well-connected, I'm a businesswoman, entrepreneur, and I will be just fine. What kind of studies did you do? Well, a lot of you don't know this because I don't share this with a lot of people, but a long time ago when I was a teenager, I actually was a hairstylist. So I went to cosmetology, went to school, was a hairstylist, and then I was like, mm, it's not so much for me anymore. So I went back to school and pursued marketing. When do you plan on having kids? I don't know. Um, next year would be cool. I mean, I'm not really, like nothing set in stone, so I don't know, we'll see. I, I'd like to do the whole like mommy fitness thing, but I don't know, maybe next year? Um, are your boobs real? You guys, I've answered this like a bunch of times before. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All boobs are not real. I mean, they're they're real. Like, they feel real. But no, um, got a boob job. I've actually had two boob jobs. Uh, the first one was like, it's not good. And then uh, there was lots of things wrong with it. So I went and had them done by a doctor in Newport Beach. Um, if you ladies want to know, you can email me. I'll give you all the details. Um, but you made them gorgeous. How many eBooks have you written? I have written three ebooks. Um, two of them are a booty program, the Get Fit Foundation and Building Blocks, and those are made to build your booty, build your leg muscle, and give you more of a voluptuous figure. And Hit Your Target based off of HIIT workouts, and that one is a weight loss book that will help you shred down, build some muscles, and look nice and lean. Um, so, three. And we have a men's ebook coming out in the next few months. The books take a while to write because we have to literally go in and write every single word. So yeah. Is Cherie your real name? Anna Cherie, Cherie is my middle name. Moreland, obviously, because I'm married to Ben. So Anna Cherie Moreland, that's my real name. Okay, <laughs> last one. Um, would you rather have your fingers as long as your legs or your legs as long as your fingers? Um. Probably my fingers as long as my legs because then it could be I feel like it would be like way more useful to like I don't know I'd be really good at sports. I think if I had like fingers as long as my legs What do you guys so comment below which one you guys would want if you want fingers as long as your legs or legs as long as your fingers like tiny little That would be weird Okay, just kidding last one last one um, What nationality are you I get asked this all the time like all the time. Even by like random people I meet. My nationality is French. My mom is blonde with green eyes, Native American and Mexican. My dad is like, looks like a scary big Mexican dude with Native American chief. Um, so yeah. Blonde green eyes mom, handsome dark Mexican Native American dad. So thank you guys for tuning in to this Q&A. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more quick Q and A's way more often, I promise. Um, if there's anything that I didn't touch on today or if I didn't get to your question, please feel free to leave your question in the comments and I will get to them next time. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and I'll see you.
see you guys next time.